Leviticus chapter 15 The Lord spoke to Moses and to Aaron saying Speak to the children of Israel and tell them When any man has a discharge from his body because of his discharge he is unclean This shall be his uncleanness in his discharge whether his body runs with the discharge or his body has stopped from his discharge it is his uncleanness every bed on which he who has the discharge lies shall be unclean and everything he sits on shall be unclean whoever touches his bed shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the evening he who sits on anything on which the man who has the discharge sat shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the evening he who touches the body of him who has the discharge shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the evening if he who has the discharge spits on him who is clean then he shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the evening whatever saddle he who has the discharge rides on shall be unclean whoever touches anything that was under him shall be unclean until the evening he who carries those things shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the evening Whomever he who has the discharge touches without having rinsed his hands in water he shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the evening the earthen vessel which he who has the discharge touches shall be broken and every vessel of wood shall be rinsed in water When he who has the discharge is cleansed of his discharge then he shall count to himself 7 days for his cleansing and wash his clothes and then he shall bathe his flesh in running water and he shall be clean On the 8th day he shall take two turtle doves or two young pigeons and come before the Lord to the door of the tent of meeting and give them to the priest the priest shall offer them one for a sin offering and the other for a bond offering the priest shall make atonement for him before the lord for his discharge if any man has an emission of sin then he shall bathe all his flesh in water and be unclean until the evening Every garment and every skin which the seaman is on shall be washed with water and be unclean until the evening If a man lies with a woman and there is an emission of semen they shall both bathe themselves in water and be unclean until the evening If a woman has a discharge and his discharge in her flesh is blood she shall be in her impurity 7 days whoever touches her shall be unclean until the evening everything that she lies on in her impurity shall be unclean everything also that she sits on shall be unclean Whoever touches her bed shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the evening Whoever touches anything that she sits on shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the evening If it is on the bed or on anything she sits on when he touches it he shall be unclean until the evening if any man lies with her 
and her monthly flow is on him he shall be unclean 7 days and every bed he lies on shall be unclean if a woman has a discharge of her blood many days not in the time of her period or if she has a discharge beyond the time of her period all the days of the discharge of her uncleanness shall be as in the days of her period she is unclean Every bed she lies on all the days of her discharge shall be to her as the bed of her period everything she sits on shall be unclean as the uncleanness of her period whoever touches these things shall be unclean and shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the evening but if she is cleansed of her discharge then she shall count to herself 7 days and after that she shall be clean on the 8th day she shall take two turtle doves or two young pigeons and bring them to the priest to the door of the tent of meeting the priest shall offer the one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering and the priest shall make atonement for her before the lord for the uncleanness of her discharge thus you shall separate the children of israel from their uncleanness so they will not die in their uncleanness when they defile my tabernacle that is amongst them This is the law of him who has a discharge and of him who has an emission of semen so that he is unclean by it and of her who has a period and of a man or of a woman who has a discharge and of him who lies with her who is unclean 